Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to cover the new backgrounds that were added. And these are dynamic backgrounds that can be modified to your liking. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is go to the backgrounds tab here. Click on that and we'll scroll down just a little bit. Let me make some more room here. So a bunch of these backgrounds here are now customizable. And let me do an example here. Okay, first one, we'll start with the triangles. We'll drag this down here. And you see you have a consistent solid background with these two colors. If you double click on it to highlight it in orange and go up to the first icon here, which is background settings, we can now control the color one and the color two. So let's go ahead and change this real quick. Do one white and we'll do one red. You know, something like this. Okay, let me go ahead and delete this here. Let's grab the circles. We'll drag this in here. And we'll go ahead here to change the colors here. Uh, let's do light blue. And <laughs> it's going to make you <laughs> blind here. But you can get the general idea here. So an example of how I might use them, I'd go into my media. I'd grab, uh, let me get a little bit of Grand Canyon footage here. Yeah, this one. Drag this down here. I'm going to lower the sound so you don't hear it. Let's push this back up to make some more room, increase the size. Okay, so I want to put a background with the title. So because the background's here, let's go to a gradient here. I'll grab this one here. And just an FYI, previously I had this background in here, but for some reason it's, it's, a, it's a little bug here. It's kind of remembering what I had here, but in all actuality, it's actually not there. So that might throw you off just a little bit. So until they kind of patch that little bug there, we'll just have to deal with it. But once you play it, you can actually see that it is not there. It's only from a previous background that I actually deleted. So what I'm going to do here is actually change the color palette just a little bit. Not too much, but let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Then I'm going to drag a title. We'll grab the split one here, put it on top. And what I want to do is actually bump up the size here. Summer 2021. Okay. And then we'll have that go like that. And then actually let's throw another, let's throw a transition in. So kind of uh, blurs. Okay. Summer 2021. And then we blur into it. Okay, and we have a nice little background with the transition here. So, okay, the way you know that your background is customizable is when you have your background in the clip, if this option is available. And basically from abstract to gradient pink, these are the ones that are customizable that allow you to change two values like the colors. So one thing I kind of messed with before this recording was I wanted like a flashing on, off, on, off, on, off. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do right click and split or do command B, command B. So I have five little clips here. So I want to alternate the colors and I'll do, I'll keep this one the way it is and I'll alternate this one here. So let's change that to black. All right, we'll go to this one, change that to black. And then I'll play it and it kind of flashes. But right now they're set at 0.7 seconds. The 0.8 to 0.9. So if we want it faster, we'll just shrink them up. Okay, so now let's have a look at this here. Let me close this little color palette. So I thought maybe it might be interesting to, you know, depending on the design, you want to have it like flashing. But uh, just something I was messing around with here. I haven't quite yet used these backgrounds for more than just, you know, title cards and things like that. But there could be some creative things you could do with them. And uh, this feature is actually also on the iPad and iPhone version of it, too. So if you need creative or unique backgrounds, you can actually do your own. And I think the kind of the ones I would use the most would be like the gradients. Or, yeah, I think the gradients would be the one. Maybe the dots here. And maybe even do a Ken Burns. Let's see if we can do a Ken Burns with it. And get a little potentially snow effect. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like. Hold on. Let's see what it looks like. Eh, 
kind of sort of snow, but not really snow. <laughs> but you know, you get some moving dots. So let's try something like, we'll start here, we'll end here. Let's see if we can get a something that kind of looks like snow maybe. I'm just messing around here, but let's see what we got. Oh, wrong, wrong way. So let's flip these. Kim Burns, rotate. Is that right? There we go. And depending on how short it is or how long it is, you could definitely make it go faster or shorter. Oh, I have an idea here. Let's uh, let's see if we can make some snow using some green screen. So double click here, and we're gonna go up and select our colors here. We're gonna go from red to like super green here. And then we're gonna drag this on top of a video clip. And we're gonna go ahead to green screen. And now we have a little snow. Of course, it's not the best looking snowflakes in the world, but you know, it's some stuff you can do. I, iMovie has a lot of little uh, limitations, but there's some hacking and, and some other little things you can kind of mess around with. And I think this might be uh, something you could, if you had like a, a reindeer or, or a Christmas card or something like that, you might be able to make it look so-so. Just a thought. Okay, well, I think that's about it for this video here. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. I want you to put in the comments, I love Mac Minis. Peace and aloha.